Oh my god, this is crazy. Alright, I am here very early. It's about 5.30. I would have got here even earlier, but I had to make a few stops to find some new sunglasses because I lost mine. So, I uh, finally got some new sunglasses and I'm here at the lake nice and early. It's still dark out, as you can see. And uh, there's still quite a few people here, but you know, I'm, I should get on the water pretty quick. So the whole thing is uh, for today is uh, top water bite. I want to try to target some stripers. They've been boiling uh, a little bit, so I just want to try some top water striper fishing for a bit if I can see them boiling, and then uh, just top water for bass for uh, until as long as I can bear it with the heat today. Uh, this could be a short video and a short trip because if it's too hot, I'm gonna uh, call it a day early. Um, uh, I'll probably do some drop shot again with the Kai Tech. Um, let's see, I may throw a Senko later in the day, but it's mostly going to be top water. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the water in a minute. All right, first throw. There's a lot of top water over here, so I'm going to try to get in on it. There's one. Even close. Oh god, dog. I think that's a striper. Oh. oh, he got off. That was a striper. God dang. Got tangled up. That was either a striper or a giant bass. Yeah, that was a striper. So, <laughs> I'm seeing him right back here. Oh, I couldn't set the hook. I think the the hook was tangled or something. Oh wow. Something hit the something hit the plopper. You see that? I'm glad I was recording because I didn't see shit. It is eight o'clock and I have yet to catch a fish. Now I've been mostly targeting the striper in top water. Uh and maybe that's why I had the two strikes. I had one fish on that popper and just didn't get hooked, and then I had one hit the uh whopper plopper. Uh, and there's a lot of activity, a lot of striper boils, um, but I can't get to them quick enough and I can't get them to bite anything on top. So, just keep trying. Alright. First fish. <laughs> just trying to jig the Kai Tech. And, uh... See the the lake is packed with bait. You can just look at all this shad everywhere. Not quite in places where I can net it. Look at that. Oh wow. There's one. There's one. It's a nice striper. Look at this. Oh, oh he's gonna spool me. Look at this. These are huge fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. I don't know if I can keep them on here. 
Oh my god, this is crazy. Look at this. Oh, I got a nice one on here too. <laughs> oh god. Nice fish. Oh man. <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh. Come on, it's a nice fish. Oh my god, it's huge. This thing is huge. Look at this fish. Oh god, duh. Get ready for more. <sighs> I missed the fucking shot. All right, so the bite in that other cove slowed down the striper and everything. Um, there's little bass still hitting in schools of decent sized bass, but I couldn't get them to, to they'd go after stuff, I couldn't get them to commit on anything. Um, and I was mainly targeting striper anyway. So it was a really exciting morning. Caught those two striper, the boils were crazy. I hope I got some of that on camera because it was just nuts chasing the boils and some lasted a really long time. And there were some big large mouth boils. I mean, huge fish out in the middle of the lake too. Uh, so anyway, I switched to this cove. Uh, the top water back here isn't as, as much as it was the other day or the last couple times I've been back here. It's still happening, but uh, they're definitely, it's not as uh, active as it was. The, the wind has picked up too, kind of early today. So it's uh, windy back here and uh, just not a lot going on. So I'm gonna try a couple other spots, hopefully run into some more striper. And if not, I'm just gonna call it an early day because um, I got what I came for, which was striper, some top water, the boils, all that exciting stuff. So I'm gonna try a few more things and then I'm gonna call it early day because it is hot out here. Oh, oh, got one. Got one on top. Oh, oh, he missed it. He missed it. He's trying. Oh, he had it, but he missed it. Oh, there he go. There's one. Oh, I think it's a large mouth. Oh, nice large. Oh, he let go. <laughs> All right, I haven't had time to record much because the striper bite is crazy. They're boiling big, large mouth boils. It's nuts out here. I just had a huge striper on the spoon, but I lost him. I didn't even, I was just reeling it in. All right, things finally started to slow down. It's been a crazy morning. Uh, so many striper boils, and even like isolated boils ended up being big striper. I just had one on the spoon. I don't know if I got on the GoPro because it was running out of memory, but I, I was just reeling the spoon, uh, yeah, the cast master in, and a big old striper, probably the biggest of the day, just grabbed it. Uh, but I didn't have time to set the hook because I was just kind of reeling. I just saw him down there fight with it for a second, and then he let go. Um, it's been crazy. Uh, a couple, lots of bass on top water too. At least they're hitting it. I got uh, big old top water stuff on those, so they're kind of hitting it, but they're not getting hooked. Oh, there's, hold on, there's some action. Oh, there's one. Striper. Ha <laughs> ha.
Slow down, what are you doing? Get over! You fucking what the fuck? Watch what you're doing! There's one. Oh, there's some big ones in that school. That's still a little Schooly, beautiful nonetheless. Come on, I'm right in the middle of that. There's one, there we go. Nice one. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Oh. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Barely hooked. Nice one. <laughs> and they're all around the boat. Good size one. non-stop they went from that cove over there and all the way up here then there was like three boils at once there's a massive one on the other side one over here one over here there are just tons of schoolies a few nice ones mixed in and uh i've just been going back and forth and, and getting pretty lucky catching them um i missed a bunch though they're 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 kind of tough but the thing that sucks is my GoPro is having problems. I know the memory is full, uh, and I was just gonna delete some of the old stuff that's on the memory card, but for whatever reason, it's just, it's malfunctioning. It's not working, I can't get it to do anything. So I was thinking about just leaving because I can't record any of this action. I caught one by the boat and didn't get a chance to record it because of the GoPro, uh, and they're just, you know, boiling everywhere. You can just see them in the water going nuts. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, this is just too good of fishing, so I gotta stay and catch some fish. 
at least I'll have some uh, some pictures if I catch a couple more. All right, I'm trying to record. This is actually a big fish. Oh wow, this is probably my biggest. I don't have my GoPro. Oh. Big, but it might be tail wrapped. I think it's tail wrapped. Highly embarrassing fish, I'm sorry. Nice fish. Wow. All I can say is, wow, what a day. I got. Let me start by just saying that I meet a lot of cool people on the water, people that watch the videos, and just other cool fishermen in general. A couple of pleasure boaters were really cool and really considerate. Uh, they didn't want to scare the, the stripers away, so they didn't even get close, which is awesome. The other guys that we were targeting stripers at the same time, everyone was really considerate. We all just sort of took a side and it was successful. It was very cool. But as you see in that other video, some of these pleasure boaters, they are the bane of my existence. I mean, you see them, the biggest boil of the day and the guy just goes right through it. And it was near the no wake zone too. It just, not a care in the world, just I'm sitting there fishing and he just slices right through. And then you have other skiers that just come within like 20 yards of where I'm fishing, like in the fish arm. It's like stay in the f***ing ski zone, okay? Stay over there. Drives me crazy and there's no one, you know, it's lawless, you know? Anyway, I hate the f***ing pleasure boaters. Uh, but I also meet a lot of cool people there, including a couple pleasure boaters. So uh, that out of the way, what a day. Very exciting, man. My, I set my goal with stripers, top water, hopefully boils, and I have never had a striper boil day like this, especially in a little rental boat. I'm, I just chased them and chased them, and it was nearly all day. There was a few times where I took a break and, and you know thought about bass fishing, went to my coves, 
and stayed there for 10 minutes and it just nothing was happening and it just was not as exciting as chasing these boils and you know as you've seen a video I get right in the middle of them you know sometimes they wouldn't bite so I'd have to just keep chasing them but I chased them nearly all day it's 4 41 I was off the water by 4 it's just getting too hot too thirsty and uh, too windy and too many pleasure boaters out there so I kind of had to call it uh, but man how exciting was that all those stripers I don't know how many I actually caught five or six I think uh, including the back hooked one sorry um, I, uh, I I I must have hooked three or four other ones that got off including the first one of the morning on top water so I got top water striper which was awesome I got a bass on on top water which was crazy um, most of them on the fluke uh, what else? I mean, I threw everything at these striper and I pretty much got one on everything. I found a giant lure called like a skimmer or something. It was beautiful. It was heavy. It was awesome. I got a striper off of it and then I slung it too hard and I think my line was tangled and it snapped. So easy come, easy go. Um, but I pretty much threw everything. A little mirror lure. Um, the only thing I didn't catch him on, no, I did. A, a, a cast master. I got a bite on one. Uh, he didn't get hooked all the way. But anyway, I'm babbling now because it was just such an insane day chasing those striper all around and, and getting hit every time and just watching them feed so aggressively is just exciting. So, man, I can't wait to do it again. It, it was a little hot and there were a lot of skiers and stuff like that on the water, but man, how exciting. And I'm pretty sure that one striper was my PB, so bam. All right, I can't wait to get back on the water. So until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, I also forgot to add that my GoPro ran out of memory twice and each time it just shut down. Cause normally I'll just go back, if, if it's an emergency, I'll go back and just delete a bunch of footage. Unfortunately, since I was doing a lot of top water, I would just let it run while I'm chasing the striper. So it just drained the memory, uh, but it would shut down and lock up. So there was a few times where I'm like running at schools and I think I caught, I know that I caught one for sure that didn't get recorded, but I, got, I think I got a picture of it. And then one I got on this phone, um, I, I just was nuts. And I finally got the GoPro working again, but by then it was the end of the day and it was too late. So I think I may have missed one or two that did not get recorded, um, but I think I got pictures. So anyway, that's it. Just want to throw that in there. All right, see you tomorrow.